Hi, I'm Brian. I'm a product manager here at Zebra Technologies. I want to show you how easily you can find the firmware on zebra.com, download it to your PC or computer, and quickly update your printer firmware in a couple easy steps. So let's get started. So on zebra.com, I'll go to the search box and I'll look for the model. In this case, I'm looking for ZD421, so I'm going to type ZD4. And it gives me a list of options. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go through the support options until I see the 421, which is here, ZD421 series printer support. This will take me to the support page for that particular printer model. Now I'm looking for uh, firmware. So I go right down here uh, to firmware. Click on this. This will take me to the firmware section. At the top of the firmware section is the firmware, and it is version 93216Z. It was released on June 24, 22. There are no other versions of the firmware listed on this page. So this is my latest and greatest version here. So if I want to read more about it, I can view the release notes. But when you download the file, it will also include the release notes as well. So I'm going to go to download. And I come to the uh, terms and conditions. I'm going to say, OK, I'm fine. I want to accept and begin the download. So I'll click on this, and this will download the firmware to my desktop. OK, so we have the download. I already extracted the download. And within the download are the following files. We have the firmware downloader guide PDF. We have the release notes in a PDF format. We also have the ZPL or um, firmware file here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the B93, the firmware file. We're going to copy it over to our USB drive. Now, the USB drive needs to be formatted properly. It can't be bigger than a terabit in size. It will have a Zebra main directory and three subdirectories. They need to be APPL, commands, and files. What we're going to do is we're going to click in the APPL file. And we're going to take the firmware file we got and drag it over. So depending on your processing power, this, this copying should take a few seconds. It shouldn't take too long. But we're going to copy the firmware uh, file to the USB drive. OK, we are done. So again, we copied the firmware file to the APPL folder. And you can see it is in there. A way to check what firmware you have on the printer is to go to printer info and to move down to here. And you can see we have Link OS version 6.6 firmware version B9321.11z. This isn't the latest firmware if you take a look at our website, so this printer definitely needs to be updated. Another way you can see what firmware is installed on the printer is if you put the you hit the feed and cancel button, hold it down for a few seconds. It's going to print out a configuration label. And on the configuration label, you have the firmware version as well. So we're going to take the USB drive and we're going to insert it in the back of the printer in the USB host type A port. And it's going to check the drive to compare the firmware if it is the latest firmware that's installed on the printer. So this process will take a little time. And when the process is done, the printer will reboot. And once it's set, the screen will come online. The status light will change from amber to green. And then we'll confirm the firmware matches the latest one. We'll hit printer info. And you can see 
that the firmware version is Link OS 6.7 and firmware is v93.21.16z. So firmware is now updated.